temperature. At the top, the temperature averages some 40 degrees cooler than the wild. Days, and the trees, flowers, and shrubs. I'm serious. We'll travel to find out. Oh, my God. Once the All other towers and the had to be constructed by transporting workers and the material to the various sites by helicopter. For the new rotating tram cars, the improvements included a new cable drive system and the removal of some 1,000 cubic yards of rock. We'll see survey marks along the rock face during the trip that indicate where rock was fired. The new cabins are the first in the Western Hemisphere to rotate 360 degrees during travel and are the largest of their type in the world. We're now high over Chino Canyon, once the summer home of the Yawa Cayente Band of Kobe Indians. Since there are many streams that flow year round, the canyon has an abundance of vegetation, including sycamore, cottonwood, alder, black maple, and a great deal of wild green To the left of South Bar is but one of the many waterfalls that is fed by runoff from the mountain. During our upper journey, we pass through a variety of different life zones, ranging from the Sonora Desert to the Alpine Fringe. It's a little like making a motor trip from Mexico to Alaska. We believe this is the only place in Southern California where this has occurred. As we approach tower number two, Top of the tower, you can see a 16 by 16 foot yellow helicopter platform used during construction and now used during the tram's maintenance period. Additional platforms will be seen on the remaining towers further along in our journey. <laughs> All right, tower two! As you know, already noticed, we experienced a swinging motion as the tram car transition. The original tramway was designed and built by the Von Roll Company from Switzerland. And all moving parts and cables are Swiss made. The towers are American made. There's a total of 27 miles of various sized cables in support, movement, and communication of the tramway. The largest of these are the track cables on which we ride. They weigh just under 9 pounds a foot with each of these track cables, 13,500 feet in length, therefore weighing a total of 46,000 The halfway point on our trip is the green tower to the train. This happens past the other cars. All right, you're going to see the other car coming down on the right. Don't forget to wave. They love it when you wave. Don't blink. Wait for it. It's actually moving at exactly the same speed. It moves because both cars are tied together by the hauling cables, which move with the tar. You see, the drive system at the valley station is pulling that car down, and in turn is pulling us up. The two cars are 34 feet apart when they pass. The Palm Springs Aerial Traveler was first conceived in the early 1930s by a young electrical engineer, Clay Prince Drucker. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We're coming up on Tower 3. Tower 3 has a much bigger sway, bigger than all the other towers. So hold on. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. At a cost of eight and a half million dollars, all plans for the sale of the bus. Tower 3! Well, 
left just as in the very beginning. No tax dollars were used on the cost of construction and the operation of the tramway and sold on its road. It is between Towers 3 and 4 that we reach the longest span of our journey. The cables stretch for more than half a mile. Off to the right, or north of the car, is one of the most dramatic sights of our entire trip. The majestic spire of the Chino Cathedral Rock. Visible testimony of the solid granite core of these mountains. As we continue our journey, the light zone changes become more obvious. You'll see a variety of pine trees, including pinion, big cone, lodgepole, and white fir. Natural residents in the high country include deer, mountain lion, fox, fox, and raccoon, and the California trees. The smallest in the flying tower is tower number four, 57 and one half feet tall, located at an elevation of 7,576 feet above sea level. From there, the view is truly spectacular. We are nearing the end of our journey now. Within the state park and wilderness are more than 54 miles of summer hiking trails and, in winter, many miles of snowshoe cross-country ski opportunity. This is, by the way, one of the very few pristine wilderness areas in Southern California and has been designated. Right, tower five! Moderate oh. trail just behind and below the mountain station. For those who listen to the adventure beyond the mountain station, be sure to wear proper clothing and hiking boots and We stay on the prepared trails, so this magnificent wilderness setting may be preserved for those who follow. Yep. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the mountain station, elevation 8,516 feet. Keep hanging on when we talk. We are going to bump the sides just a little bit, so keep your balance. We're going to be getting off on the second level where you'll be able to see those pictures you took down in the valley. Also on the second level, we have our gift shop and the departure waiting area. When you're ready to come back down, that's where you need to be on that second level.